Hi guys. In this video, we are going to see one uh, interview questions in which what they used to ask. They'll ask, they'll give you one two dimensional array, okay? And they'll ask you to print this based on some sorting order on particular column, okay? For example, let's see here. Suppose if you they have given uh, this two dimensional array and they'll ask you to print this array in such a way that it should be sorted based on second column. Okay, so based on second column, column which record should come first, like ascending order we are talking about here. Okay, so here it is three, three should come here. So this whole entry should get printed first. Okay, after that, four should get printed. Okay, then this whole entry should get printed over here now the next is the greater one seven is greater among all these two from this and this so this will should get printed at the end so this is what your output should be if the input is like that then your output should be like that okay they may, may ask you to solve this based on this column or based on this column anything they can ask they can ask you in ascending order or descending order that also they can ask okay so let's go get started uh, let me copy this. Okay. Yeah. So here to solve this problem, we will be using two things. Okay. One comparator interface and inside that comparator interface, we have one method. Okay. Compare. So we need to provide the implementation for this method. So based on whatever they will ask, either ascending or descending, based on that, we will be providing uh, implementations in, inside this. Okay. So this is also a very important question for interview, but if your experience would be eight years plus nine years, uh, then they'll ask you, okay, in tree set, uh, uh, some uh, default sorting order or customized sorting order, if they'll ask you to implement there, they, they will ask you. But this question is like very simple and they may ask you anywhere, okay? If your experience is uh, six or six plus years, okay? So now let's go here and create one. Okay, let me minimize this. Let me create one class, new class, class B sort 2D array. Okay. So let me write main method. Yeah. Let me write the given array. Okay. So let me arrange this little so that it is more readable okay now perfectly fine now they will give you one more thing one int column number okay which column you they want to sort okay for example here we will be sorting it based on this column okay now now let me create one method for sorting okay public void sort 2d given array okay this name you can write any name okay so in this name we will be accepting two things okay int is a two dimensional array comma int call num okay two two variables we are expecting one expecting one integer array two dimensional array uh, user will provide and one column number based on which column number they want to to sort this okay so now so there is one class okay arrays class okay arrays dot in that class there is one method okay sort okay so this this method we will be using comparator see here you can see comparator right let's double click on this this came like this and here we need to pass pass one array okay so we pass this array and here we need to pass comparator okay so here we told like this is comparator and this is the method implementation method we will be writing implementation inside this okay so so to create instance let me pass instance of that uh, interface comparator okay yeah see this is what it is comparator now here we have to sort it based on some column value okay and these values are integer okay so let me pass here integer okay now now it is what it is telling it is telling like you are using this comparator method and you need you should add unimplemented method okay so that you can provide the 
body for that okay because the body is not available in this interface okay for this method compare method anyway in interface it doesn't used to have a body of any method but in java 8 uh, they have given some provision i'm not sure about that okay so now now let me write it uh, value 1 and value 2 okay so now see the return type is integer okay now now here what we'll do we'll write one if statement if value 1 okay so from which column okay so which value we are considering this value this value this value okay so this is under column 2 okay but in array we need, we know like it start from 0 so it's 0 1 2 so column minus 1 if we'll give like so then one will come and this will point to this one okay so let me pass this is what the column number we are passing right so let me copy this and we can pass it like this minus 1 okay if this is greater than okay value 2 of this minus 1 okay if it is greater okay what you have to do do you have to return okay return sorry just a little or return positive value okay it can be anything okay else return negative return some negative value okay like uh, minus it something okay it should be negative that it d u r n okay this return will delete it now now let's understand this what it used to do okay suppose if you are trying to add anything okay let me explain here i'll remove that so this method okay suppose one value you are adding for example our own value okay first it will add 3 okay so let's 3 is already added now when it will add this one 7 okay so what it will do this 7 okay it will compare 7 with already existing value okay 3 okay so it will check this 7 is bigger than 3 or not obviously it is bigger so it should return positive value returning positive value means whatever new value you are entering it should come after the existing value okay so our existing value is 3 so after 3 when we are trying to add the seventh one so it should come after okay the value one seven what we are going to add it should come after this okay so in that case it will come here now it will be in this order now now which is the third record third record is like four okay now when you will try to add four what it will do it will check with value two so already existing value three first it will check with three so four is greater than three yes then it will return positive it means four should come after three okay now it will go to the next one okay now it will check four should come after seven or what see four is greater than seven so it is telling no okay then it means it is returning some negative value it means four should come before seven okay so what it will do it will remove this seven from here it will insert four and then it will insert this seven okay so likewise it will get added in ascending order okay so this is what the it used to tell you may face this question in interview also they will ask you about this compare method okay so this is how it works so now what we have done we have implemented this okay now what it will do it will compare and it will give the values now let me call this let me make it static so that directly we can call without using object okay now here sort two dimensional array which one this is the one okay and it is asking for array what is that array array is a and column number what is that column number c u l okay now now it what it will do it will sort this array and now we need to print that okay 
to print that what we have to do we have to create for loop for int i is equal to zero i is less than a dot length okay colon i plus plus okay now this is first suppose it is talking about column then we have to write about rows also right so for rows again we'll do for int j is equal to zero j is less than j is less than a okay so let me put zero okay so what it will do it will refer first one okay dot length okay so that first it will go from zero okay zero 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 one zero two so so the first one is talking about a row okay and the second one is talking about column okay so here semicolon j plus plus now we have to print that s y s o okay now let me print a i and j okay i and j okay and let me give some space between so that whatever value it will print there should be some space and we should give this as print okay not print ln because in print ln it will do print then next line then three then next line then nine then next line okay in print what it will do it will keep on printing for first row it will print and after completion of first row i want to put one one uh, enter button okay so that this should get printed in next row line and this should get printed in next line okay so now so when you'll practice no you'll get to know okay don't worry about that just you practice this now let me run this okay see how we are getting it okay let me make it space give one space so that it will be proper okay see here so what was the input input was two three nine five okay then two seven four one and nine four six three so based on second column we have sorted it right in ascending order so three came first then after fourth one came right nine four six three see how nice it is now suppose if they'll ask you to sort it based on fourth column okay so fourth column on this column in what ascending order so what will happen so it should print this one first then this one and then this one right so let's run and see yeah see here see the first one the value which was having one this 2741 it got printed then this three so where is three this one nine four six three then nine four six three printed and this so based on whatever column you can do it okay now if they'll ask you to print this in descending order okay so when i was explaining this okay what value one if it was greater then we were returning positive value positive value means it should come after okay not before so instead of returning positive value if we will make it negative value okay and instead of in else part we can return positive value okay so what it will do it will reverse it okay instead of ascending order it will do in descending order okay this is what the change we have to that's it okay so the logic main logic re, uh, resides behind this one okay how you are comparing and what is the return type okay return type should be negative value it means if we want to add it before and if we want to add it after then it should return positive okay so here we made it ulta okay if our value is greater then put it negative it means it should get added before not after okay so what is the column number we have provided here fourth so our see it should record exactly ulta first this should get printed then this should get printed and then this should get 531 it should be right so let me print it see the 5 came 3 came this came right now let me show you based on this column okay so 7 should come first then 4 then 3 should come based on second one okay so let me put it to and run it see seven four three came right see how nice it is just you practice it it is very easy okay 
just if you'll practice one or two times you'll get to know but this is very nice questions also the, they'll ask you okay that's it for this video guys thank you if you are not getting anything let me know i'll try to uh, explain it in some other way okay so thank you guys bye bye